So I have here a Redmi Note 11 Pro that is stuck on a boot loop. This is the 5G version. It has been opened before by me. I changed the screen on this phone because the owner just wanted some stuff from it. But when it came back it stopped charging. So it worked but now it does not take a charge and it's stuck on this loop of charging symbol as you can see over here it just does this and nothing happens so this is basically a very flat battery and is not taking a charge anymore so it's stuck on this loop and we will now have to try and fix it so let's now heat it up at around 200 degrees to soften the adhesive that I have placed before and open it up by removing this back glass. With the back glass removed, let's then take out all the Phillips screws that we have on the back of the phone. And now to remove the plastic cover, we need to pry the uh, plastic cover itself from the bottom. I just forgot a screw over here. From the bottom all the way around until we get it out. And please be careful with this SIM card tray. I forgot to pull it out. And here we now can pull everything out of the way. And be careful with the... Uh, button because it has a flex cable attached to the motherboard. We now first remove the battery connectors, there are two of them, so we take those out first and then we take off this little connector for the button. So without the battery connected let's do a quick test to see if we have anything on screen when we connect the power to the phone. Which we don't, so this phone really needs to have a battery connected in order to do something because it does not receive power directly into the board, it has to go through the battery circuit. So we need then to do another test with a brand new battery. So it has been a few weeks because there was the Chinese New Year so this took a while to get to me but eventually it did. It's a brand new battery for this phone from Redmi. I bought it on AliExpress 
and I believe it's an original one, at least I hope it is. So now we will need to remove this old battery from the phone and put in the new battery. Just to compare, this battery is exactly the same size, connectors are on the same place, so let's take this one out first. I believe we need to pull these little tabs on the side, let's just remove them first. So for those of you that have the same phone and the same fault, the thing here is you need to pull both tabs up, the A and B, they are marked as A and B, this one is the B one, In, and then once you unglue them, you just pull on the A tab to remove the battery, just like I will do right now. And as you can see, the battery lifts up without a problem, and this is very handy when you are replacing a battery that may explode if damaged. So let's now connect the brand new battery. We just need to put the number one first and the number two after. Just like so. These are like Lego type connectors, so just press them. And now we will plug in the phone and see if something happens. So there we go. Nothing is happening. Maybe we have a fault on the power board, maybe. Because the battery is connected, let me just turn it on. Well, it does turn on. Let's see what happens now. So he went into the login screen with 59% charge, so this battery is charged, but it's still not taking a charge. I wonder why. This is odd, because if it's turning on, it should take a charge, unless this board over here is failing, is somehow failing. Maybe we need to measure some voltages. Let me just try again. Still nothing. I'm afraid I may have to order a new board, a new charging board because I know this charger is working because it just charged a Samsung phone that I have. So I honestly cannot see any faults on the board here. The connectors are connected. And this is very strange. And it's not wiggling. It's pretty solid on the board. And it's still not receiving a charge. I'm wondering what is happening. Oh, hang on a second. I just saw that my extension is not plugged in the wall. Yeah, silly. <laughs> silly me. There we go. We have a charge. So yeah, all it takes to fix a boot loop on this phone is to replace its battery. So it's a pretty easy fix if you have this problem with a phone like this. You know what to do now. You just buy a new battery and replace it. It's very, very easy to remove the battery. So if you want, just go ahead and do it because this phone is now fixed when it was supposed to go to trash. So now that we took care of that, let's just put this battery in place properly and rebuild the phone to give it back to its 
owner. So I will now clean all the remains of glue that I still have around the phone frame and the phone back glass to then apply a new glue. In this case I'm going to put a two-sided tape in order for it to be easier to remove and it will still be solid. So before closing it, let's just check if it is still receiving a charge. And it is. It turned on. I did not press the button. So yeah, let's keep on closing this phone. So we will now put the double-sided tape and glue the back glass in place. Finally, we will place the back glass and close the phone. So let's just start it up and see if everything is okay. And I just realized I forgot to put all the screws on the phone. So I will need to open it up again, but I won't bother you with this. Let me just test if it's still charging. And yes it is. This is great. So now I will need to open it up again, put all the screws and then finish the video. And now it's finally complete, so let's turn it on again. There it is, in all its glory, working as it should. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did, I'll leave it a like. And subscribe to the channel if you are willing to, because it's always good to know that we have supporters out there throughout the world. So, I will see you on the next video. Hope you enjoyed, goodbye.